guys are Jones here and welcome to a different sort of video. This is a tutorial on uh, recording Minecraft or any other game or even just your screen like I'm doing right now 100% for free using OBS Studio. So OBS Studio is a new-ish version of OBS. It was released, I don't know, a couple months ago. I use it for all my videos. It works on Windows, Mac, and the Linux, I think. Definitely on Windows and Mac. I've used it on both of those. And so I'm just going to be going through a few quick things you need to know to get yourself up and running and starting your own channel in no time. Alright, so the first thing you want to do here is go onto your web browser and navigate to obsproject.com. So it'll take you right here onto the Open Broadcast Software homepage, and you're going to want to pick up a copy of OBS Studio. It's totally free. It works on Windows 7, 8, or 10, Linux, or OS X. Only works on Mountain Lion Plus, but most people are running Mountain Lion Plus. If you're going to be recording, you probably want something that's shipped with Mountain Lion or newer anyway. Just putting that out there. So installation is very simple. On Mac, you just open it up, install it like any other program, drag it into your applications folder. You know the drill, probably. If not, it's pretty easy to do. Uh, on Windows, I'm pretty sure you just double-click it and... Uh, go through like the little installer thing that will pop up. Either way, once you got it installed, you can open it up and you'll be presented with this screen here. When you first get it, it's going to look a little bit different than mine does right now. Basically, it'll probably have something called scene here. If not, right click and click add. You can enter a name and you're good to go. Next up, you want to add a source. So to add the source, you just want to right click here, click on add, and you'll be presented with all these different options. So you can add image, video capture device, you know, your webcam or whatever. The one I use is the display capture. So that basically just captures everything on this monitor, um, which is perfect for me. I just set it to this monitor, put my games in full screen, and we're good to go. If you want to just capture a window, like say Safari or whatever, then you can go ahead and use window capture, or if you want to just capture a game that's not in full screen maybe, or I don't know why, but capturing a game uh, without using the display capture, then you can use game capture, which hooks into the game and just only captures that, that game. So once you've created your source, titled it whatever you want, etc, etc, you're going to want to go down here into settings. You'll be presented with this, which, you know, looks a little bit strange and foreign at the moment, but it's actually really simple. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go on down into output, and you'll notice right away that the output mode is in simple. You'll be able to change that. I can't because I'm already recording. This stuff is all for live streaming. If you're planning on doing that, maybe I'll make another tutorial in the future. So you can just ignore that for now. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go down to the recording section, you're going to want to tell it where to save the files that you're recording. So I have mine in my documents in a folder called Arg Jones. Just creates them all there. Recording quality, you can change this if you want. The better recording quality that you set it on, you know, the better it, the video is going to look. But just keep in mind that the higher you set the quality, the more laggy your computer will be. If you have a slower computer already, I don't recommend turning it up. And also with higher qualities, the file sizes will increase. I have it on indistinguishable right now. Looks pretty good, I think. I could have it on lossless, but honestly, it just, it's not worth it for the amount of file size that it creates. For the recording format, I use .mov. You can put it to any of these, really. Um, but the two that I would recommend are the MP4 or the MOV. Doesn't really matter which one. And that's about it. Next up, you're going to want to go into audio and add your audio devices. Desktop audio device, you're going to want to keep it on default. And then you're going to want to go down to mic slash auxiliary audio device and set that to your microphone. I have a Yeti stereo mic, so that's what I have mine set on, but yours will be, you know, whatever your microphone is. Next up, we're going down to video here. I'm recording in 1920 by 1080, which is 1080p. Um, you can scale it down if you want, so that should be set to probably whatever the game or the monitor that you're capturing is. Then you can scale it down to something as long as it's kind of the same aspect ratio, it should work. So you could scale it down to 720p if you wanted, but it uh, doesn't really matter. That would just prevent it, like if you wanted to upload in 720p, that would prevent it from cropping the sides off. Um, and then 
common FPS values, I have mine set to 30, but you can obviously turn that up to 60 if you want to record in 60 FPS. Recording any higher than 60 FPS is pointless, as YouTube will only let you upload 60 FPS or lower. Next up, hotkeys. For my hotkeys, I just set uh, the plus for start recording and the minus for stop recording. Rest of the stuff doesn't really matter. Start streaming, you could also set hotkeys for there if you're planning on live streaming. Um, and that's about all you need to worry about here unless you want to get into like muting your audio devices and whatnot. Down here in advanced, not too much to worry about here. I just leave most of this um, as the default. I unchecked disable OS X VSync because I found that caused some screen tearing, but honestly, it doesn't matter that much. Just kind of don't touch this stuff, but you can turn the OS X VSync off if you want. So that's about it for like the simple, basic, just getting started thing. If you want to stick around, I'm going to be going over some of the more advanced video settings that I use in my recordings, but if you don't, that's fine. You're good to go right now. You should be able to just hop in game, start recording, and you'll be good to go. All right, so now for the advanced segment, I'm going to go back into settings, and the only tab I really want to worry about for this advanced piece is the output tab. So I'm going to click on that and switch this to advanced mode. I can't switch it while I'm recording, so I just had to cut it and switch it in between, but you know. This will create three tabs here. You've got streaming, recording, and audio. So streaming is for live streaming. I haven't changed any of this stuff just because I don't live stream at all. My internet is honestly too slow to live stream. So I just left this totally alone. It doesn't matter if you're not going to be streaming. In the recording tab here, um, I have mine set to standard. I've chosen where I want it to save the files. I've set it to MP4, and this is the really cool part. So I like to record two separate audio tracks for my videos, one for my mic and one for my desktop sound. The reason I do that is because then, after I'm done recording, I can drag the clip into Final Cut Pro, which is the program I use to edit, and I can actually adjust the different audio tracks separately, which basically means if the game volume is way too loud and the mic is way too low, I can play around with that in the editing software after I'm done recording. So in order to set that up, you want to select however many audio tracks you want in there. Then you want to leave this dialog and hit mixer here, the little settings icon. And you can see that right here you'll have all the devices that you have turned on. And over here you can see it says tracks. So what you do is you want to just uncheck all of them except for one on whatever, the mic and then uncheck all of them except for two on the desktop audio, which means that the mic will be recording only to one track, and the desktop audio will be recording to the second track. So now that I've gone over that, we can go back into here and finish this off. Um, encoder, 264 again. Uh, not rescaling the output, so I just uncheck that. Um, down here, my bitrate is um, around... 8000 is usually the best for uploading 1080p to YouTube. This is really important. It'll probably only be on like 2500 or so, which is not enough for 1080p. It will look bad. So I play around with it. I've had it all the way up to like 12,000 before and it didn't make that much of a difference, so I turned it back down. But uh, you can just kind of mess around with it. Anything above 8000 should look fine for YouTube 1080p. So there's stuff I didn't really play around with. You can mess around with it if you want, but I have used CBR checked. CPU usage preset is on very fast, and that's about all there is in here. Whoops, I didn't mean to screw around with all that stuff. So last tab over here is audio. I haven't messed around with this at all, but if you want, you can turn the audio bitrate up. I believe the default is 160. You really don't need to go higher than that to have good sounding audio, but if you want to, feel free. Just basically the higher bit rate, the better sounding audio, but you can't really tell once you get that high. And that's about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like. I hope you guys can put this to good use, get some nice high quality free recordings of pretty much whatever you want. You could do, I don't know, Minecraft or GTA or like, you know, whatever you want. So that about wraps up the video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Have a nice day. Those hits. Those hits.